I really appreciate you buying that wedding dress for me. That's OK. I just want to look so special for you. So when I walk down the aisle, I'll take your breath away. You do that all the time. Oh. Andy! What? Just seen this. So? Well, we've got a pram, haven't we? It's not for sale. There's no point in keeping it. I'm not planning on getting pregnant again. It costs a lot of money, remember? Yes, so we can get some back on it. Well, it doesn't matter what I think. You don't take any notice anyway. I don't suppose you remember Grace Kelly, but when I saw Donna in that wedding dress, that's who I thought of. She married a prince, didn't she? So you have heard of her, then? I thought she were blonde. Well, it's a question of poise, elegance. It's all in the genes, of course. I think she's very brave parading in front of all those people. I'll put her in front of an audience or a flash gun and she blossoms. I'm only sorry she's too young to be on that calendar. So am I, cos she could have done it instead of me. Oh, Emily, you're looking forward to it, surely? I don't think I am. Oh, you'll enjoy every minute of it. Taking off your clothes, flaunting your assets to the world, it'd be marvellous. I'm not sure I want my assets flaunted. It's nothing to be ashamed of, just think. Your nude body, captured in time, preserved for posterity. I'll go put the kettle on. Oh, it's heavy, this. Oh, it's marble, isn't it? Steady. Mm. There we go. Oh, my gran had one of these before she got put onto Maine's plumbing. Yeah, and as soon as she did, I bet she chucked it away. <laughs> got a goodie bag from the rag and bone man. Gave it to me. Ah, uh, she'd get a lot more for it today. We all gave things away cheap when we were young, didn't we? Didn't we, just? Where's it from? That old lady that just died, uh, Edith Weatherall. Oh, yeah. My Trisha was very fond of her. Nice, isn't it? Very saleable piece. I suppose if I bought that for my Trisha, she'd have something to remember the old girl by. I'll give you 75 for it. Well, it's worth two or three times more than that. All right, a ton. Oh, Trisha would be gutted if she knew you'd let it go. OK. You can have it for a hundred. You are? You're a gent. <laughs> you look more like. <laughs> Ooh, she's interesting. How much do you want for her? Uh, you can have her for 40, seeing as I'm feeling generous. Done. I'll pop round later and pick her up. You don't mind me saying this, Marlon, but I never had you down as a romantic hero. That's because you can't see past the D-word. What D-word? Dumplings? Duck? What? Dripping? Dripping? No, Dingle! <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, my Marlon's Brad Pitt and George Clooney all rolled into one. All I'm doing is buying my beloved the thing she wants most in the world. Are you taking notes, Bob? Oh, I don't need lessons on keeping a woman happy. I'd keep quiet if I were you. I mean, what's Matt going to say if he finds out you've got cash to spare? Matt can say what he likes. As far as I'm concerned, Trisha comes first. Oh, and he lovely? <laughs> mm. I mean, whether she were thinking of selling the pram or it was just seeing the other. So she didn't seem upset? No. Yeah, well, it might mean that she's getting over losing baby. Yeah, I hope so. Are you sure your dad said the order was on here? <sighs> You're in the wrong file. Not really with it this morning, are you, Brian? Oh, it's Katie in the pram. She seems so calm and matter-of-fact about everything. I don't know how she can be. Well, would you rather she fell to pieces? I think I'd find it easier to understand if she did. Well, I think it is a good thing if, if she is getting over it. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. I just wish I could believe it. Look, she might have the odd setback, but... Well, I think she'll get there in the end. Well, they went to the wedding fair together, didn't they? Yeah. Well, I'd say this was a relationship that's on the mend, wouldn't you? I suppose. You don't sound convinced. Oh, Trish, she won't give a mum the time of day. And no matter what I say or what Steph does, there's something there. Whatever happened between them in the past, Trish, she can't let it go. Has Marlon been telling you about my wedding dress? <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, he just had. Oh, it was nothing. Oh. <laughs> Oh, a bit early for that, innit, girl? Well, I'm just excited about my wedding dress. Well, I've got you a little surprise as well. Oh. I think you're worrying about problems that don't exist. I hope you're right. 
It was good to see you at the service. Are you going to start coming regularly? I might, now that I've broken the ice. You haven't forgotten about this afternoon, I hope, Vicar. No, I'll be there. We're starting three o'clock sharp. Good day. What was that about? A committee meeting to plan the calendar. It seemed a good idea at the time. And it still would be if the right people were involved. Do I detect the usual spirit of harmony and cooperation? Why can we never organise anything without falling out? I, I feel like I'm in no man's land being shot at from both sides. Listen, I'm not doing anything this afternoon. I could come with you if you like, give you moral support. But Zoe, you're my friend. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Oh, don't worry. I can be bitchy with the best of them. They expect it of me. <laughs> Slumming it today, are we, Eric? Beg your pardon? Oh, I just saw you yesterday at the, uh, the North Park Hotel. <laughs> really? Yeah, me and Trish were there for the, for the wedding fair. Eric's mayoral duties take him all over the district, don't they, dear? Quite. Oh. Seemed a bit harassed. Thank you, Marlon. <gasps> Enjoy. Idiot. Did he see Glynis? Well, he didn't say he did, did he? You really are going to have to be more careful in future, starting this afternoon. Don't remind me. Enjoy. Oh, sorry. We nearly had a very intimate moment there, Ma. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. Not intimate, no. <laughs> it wouldn't bother me. Oh. Well, I best get these back to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, sorry, Bob. Edith's washstand. It was as much a present for you as for Trisha, you know. Well, well, it, it would be, wouldn't it? I mean, we share everything, me and Trish. We're really close. Uh, but did you like it? Yes. Oh, I'm glad. Because I'm like you, you know. Big hearted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney. Danny. I thought you said there were no room for sentiment in business. There isn't. Then why did you let Steph have the wash down for 100 quid? You had her over a barrel. I had my reasons. <laughs> what? You're not the hard man you pretend to be. Now, you know how much that wash stand meant to Trisha. So what? So, if Stephanie sees that I'm a decent kind of guy, then she's likely to come back, isn't she? Yeah, because you're a soft touch. Yeah, <laughs> not as soft as you think. This load of junk's worth nowhere near 40 quid. <laughs> No, I'll come out on top in the end. You'll see. Oh! Oh! What are you doing in here? I've come to order some food. Well, well, I'll be through in a minute when I finish this. I... But I can't wait. I'm hungry. Well, I don't really. Take orders in here, right? So, if you want to go back through to the bar, please. But, uh, I thought you might do me something special. You know? Something nice and tasty. <laughs> I'll leave it with you then. Okay. <laughs> What's she doing in there? She sorted some lunch. If yeah, she does that in the bar, she knows that. I've sorted it, it's okay. Is she talking about me? No. Sneaky cow. Trish. What? I don't get it, you know. I don't understand. I mean, you're so hostile and she... I don't know. I, I don't get it. She's what? What were you going to say? I don't understand her behaviour any more than yours. She's just trying to get everyone to like her. It's all an act. Then why has she just bought you in this flipping washstand? Because she's trying to buy my affections. What was it, Trish? What happened between the two of you? Nothing. We're getting married soon. I think we need to have everything out in the open. We're totally honest with each other. Well, I don't want to talk about it. Well, I think it's time you did, because whatever it was hasn't been sorted, has it? Has it? Diana would be wondering where I am. Trish! God, I feel like I'm stuck in the middle of something really weird, and I don't like it. And I think it's time you were straight with me. Me early, didn't you? Didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I reckon you're lucky. I'd tell you if it'd be my first mother-in-law, she'd have a knife in her hand. Yeah, I know, but she's been she's been coming on to me, Bob. Give over. She's been she's... very, very touchy-feely. And last night she made it very plain she's been 
She's been harboring lustful notions towards me. Well, are you sure this romantic hero stuff hasn't gone to your head? I'm not giving her any encouragement. She knows I'm crazy about Trish, but it doesn't seem to stop her. It doesn't stop her. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I... There's this weird, unfinished business with them from way back. And, it... well, Trisha doesn't exactly warm to her mother. Right, well, you're better off not saying anything to her then. Oh, I'm not so sure. Yeah, what good are you going to do? Well, what sort of marriage am I going to have if I start off by hiding things from her? That could get very messy. It's very messy anyway. Zoe's kindly offered to come along and lend a hand. Do you really want her in your house? Why wouldn't she? Well, I would have thought that was obvious. She doesn't want it burning to the ground. Oh, don't be stupid, Edna. I came here to get involved and to help. I think I've got a lot to offer. Yeah, so do I. But I would appreciate having a window open. Ah, <laughs> ah! To fan the flames. Oh, it's just getting a bit warm in here, that's all. I think it's great you've been involved, cos we're all a team, aren't we? It's like a netball match. We're all on the same side. I think Laurel's right, and as chairman, I insist that Zoe joins us. On your head, be it. Item one. <clears throat> a venue for the photo shoot. Still unresolved. Right, well, the village hall's a church. It's too cold to go outside, and Mrs Eggleton doesn't want to use a wool pack because it's free publicity for Mrs Blackstock. Mm. Thank you, Laurel. I think that neatly sums up our last two meetings. Um, you'd be very welcome to use Home Farm. It'd make a lovely backdrop, inside or out. I think that's a splendid idea. Yeah, so do I. What's in it for you? Nothing. What do you think, Mrs Birch? Well, I suppose in the absence of any alternative... We're... Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Zoe. You're very welcome. Um, and I also know a... You all right? Yeah, fine. I was just going to say that, um... I also know a printer who, uh... Sorry, I'm going to have to get some fresh air. Zoe! Oh! Diane, you know when Bernice had her affair with Carlos? You kept it a secret, didn't you? Of course I did. Even from the people that are really close to you. Why are you asking? I don't know. I suppose I'm just wondering what I'd do if I was in a similar situation. You know, if something really bad had happened to me. Secrets come out sooner or later. And the longer it takes, the worse it can be. In my opinion, it's best to be honest, especially where relationships are concerned. You don't believe that for a minute. Oh, no man who does. Have you seen Marlon? Yeah, he's gone to Cash and Carry, so he won't be too long. Well, have you seen before I do? Will you tell him I want a word? OK. I knew it. She's not fit to be let out. Well, it could be a byproduct of her being a loony. <sighs> Poor lass. She's fainted, that's all. There's no wonder the amount of hot air that's in here. Happened to me when I was training for my first half marathon. I hyperventilated. Nearly fell in the canal. Ah. She's coming round. What happened? You passed out. Oh. Gave us a bit of a fright. I've got you a drink. Mm, thank you. If you feel it coming on again, put your head between your knees. I'm sorry. Oh, don't apologise. As soon as you feel better, I'll take you home. Thank you. Now I'll have a cup of coffee, please, Katie. In a minute, I'm busy, I. Careful. I didn't do on purpose. Are you all right? Did she get you? Yeah, I'm all right. You are sorry, though, aren't you, Katie? Katie? Yes, I'm sorry. I've got some exciting news. This is not a good time. You know that conversation we had yesterday about tinkles and fonts? Yeah, what about it? I found just a thing. You haven't? I have. It's yours for 60 quid. Well, where is it? I've just picked it up. It's out the back. Great. I fainted. People do. It's nothing to get stressed out about. But you've got to take it easy. You shouldn't have even been there. Oh, stop making a fuss. I'm fine. Really, I'm fine.
That was my mole at the courier with a very juicy tidbit. I'm not sure I'm in the mood. It's important. Apparently, two days ago at a business luncheon in Robblesfield, Councillor Ledbetter told anyone who cared to listen that he was in favour of the Tate landfill proposal. Eric. What? If we can tie Ledbetter in with the Tates, we can discredit him. Well, I'm sure we can. You might show a smidgen of enthusiasm. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm tired. I'm finding the demand of the rigorous campaigning rather exhausting. Well, you're going to have to keep it up for a while longer. Hi. Hi. Good trip to the cash and carry? Oh, belting. Great offer on virgin olive oil. Oh, great. Marlon. Tish. Oh. What? No, what were you going to say? There's something I need to tell you. Something important. Me and all. I've been thinking about it all day. Me too. So what's it about? Me mum and me. Your mum? Yeah, I haven't told you the truth. I haven't told anyone about it before. I thought I could forget about it. It's all right, sweetheart. Take your time. I was 19 and I was going out with this bloke called Gary. It was special. My first proper grown-up relationship. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we worked on a building site. My mum didn't like him. Said he was dog rough, but he weren't. He was lovely. He used to make me laugh all the time. <laughs> And he was beautiful. His skin smelled all lovely. So what, you're saying she didn't like him, that's it? Well, she was always having a dig at him. And every time he came round, she was always being really rude to him. But all she did was make me want him more. What, so she tried to split you up? I, I don't understand. What, what is it she did exactly? I, I used to work in a pub. And one night when I got there, they had to close it down, burst pipe. So I thought I'd go and see Gary, give him a bit of a surprise. I had a key, so I let myself in. And I heard music, loud soul. And I saw a slip on the floor in the hall. It was black. I bought my mum one like it for Christmas. Oh, no, they weren't, no. They're uh, on the living room floor, laughing, clothes everywhere. So, what so? She, she'd fancied him all that time. She seduced him behind. But what sort of mother does that? Oh, well, she says she was doing me a favour. Showed me Gary couldn't be trusted. I didn't believe her. Smacked her in the mouth and left home the next day. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because I couldn't. So horrible. I just didn't want you to have to hear about it. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me, Marlon. It's all right, sweetheart. It's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry. I've decided I don't want to be in the calendar. Are you sure? I don't want my naked body to be frozen in time. And you will respect Emily's decision? Of course I will. I wouldn't force anyone to be on it. Because you know there are some very willing volunteers waiting in the wings. I think your withdrawal means that Steph is now on the calendar. Oh, thank you, Vicar. Um, is there anybody else going a bit wobbly? Not that I know of. Because if there are, you know you can call on me. I'm ready to drop everything at a moment's notice. That's very reassuring. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. What are you up to tonight? Why? I was just wondering if we wanted to come to the pictures or something. Well, actually, like yesterday, you're not me back, remember? I changed my mind. Yeah, well, I don't know. Forget it. All right, I'll come. Ah, there you are, Danny. Uh, when you finish that, I've got the car outside. I want to be in hot and five o'clock. Why, have you set up another killer deal? <laughs> Do you find that amusing? No, I hope it turns out. Especially after the day you've had. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know that water feature you sold Steph for 40 quid? Yeah. The one that was overpriced? Yes, yes, what about? Well, I was in here before when she sold it to Viv for 60. <laughs> Did you? No. <laughs> I thought you'd been that. No, on the contrary. I'm impressed. <laughs> Hello. 
What are you doing? I don't think I took them this morning. You sure? They're still the same number as they were last night. Oh, Zoe. I must have forgotten. Well, that explains the fainting fit, doesn't it? Do you think so? Yeah, you forgot to take your medication and you overexerted yourself. I hope that's all it is. It really messes with your head when you realise you can't even trust your own mother. And Gary, I really loved him, you see, but I should never have trusted him. Well, what's behind, you know? You didn't mind me telling you, did you? Of course not. Explains a lot of things. I just didn't want us getting married with it hanging over us. And you've been saying how we should be honest with each other. I admire you for it. It took a lot of courage. I didn't want you to start hating me and thinking I was a horrible person. As if. Well, now I've told you the truth, I think I should talk to her about it, get it sorted. Why? Oh, she's trying so hard to be friendly. And it was in the past, so if we get it sorted, we can put it behind us. I'm not so sure. Why not? Well, you know, it's, you've kept it secret for so long, both of you. If you stir things up now, it might make things worse between you, not better. Do you think so? You've told me, right, that's the most important thing. I think we should put it behind us, get married, and then, and then see how we feel. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Marlon. I love you. I don't need thanks. What was it you were going to tell me? What? You said it was something important. Oh, it was nothing. It was just about the catering for the wedding. It's nothing vital. It'll keep. All right. Marlon. Yeah? I'm really glad I told you the truth. Good. It's like I can tell you anything. Same for you, innit? Of course it is. <laughs>